the first reading a reading from Paul's letter to Romans Brothers and sisters it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world but through the righteousness that comes from faith for this reason it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants not to those who only adhere to the law but to those who follow the faith of Abraham who is the father of all of us as it is written i have made you father of many nations he is our father in the sight of god in whom he believed who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist he believed hoping against hope that he would become the father of many nations according to what was said thus shall your descendants be the word of the lord thanks be to god let our response be the lord remembers his covenant forever let us repeat the lord remembers his covenant forever you descendants of abraham his servants sons of jacob his chosen ones he the lord is our god throughout the earth his judgments prevail your response the lord remembers his covenant forever he remembers forever his covenant which he made binding for a thousand generations which he entered into with abraham and by his oath to isaac your response the lord remembers his covenant forever for he remembered his holy word to his servant abraham and he led forth his people with joy with shouts of joy his chosen ones your response the lord remembers his covenant forever the gospel according to luke Jesus said to his disciples I tell you everyone who acknowledges me before others the son of man will acknowledge before the angels of God but whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God everyone who speaks a word against the son of man will be forgiven but the one who blasphemes against the holy spirit will not be forgiven when they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities do not worry about how and what your defense will be or about what you are to say for the holy spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say the gospel of the lord praises be to you o lord jesus christ